Hello everyone, this is Emily Cullum with Profound Logic Software, and today we are going to talk about the PC Command Listener. If you aren't familiar with the PC Command Listener, this tool just lets you integrate your browser screens with other PC applications. For instance, if you have some kind of document management application that you need to call from your program that's running in the browser, the PC Integration API that we have will allow you to do this. Uh, you will need to have a program installed on your computer in order to use the PC Integration API. One option that you have for this is the PC Command Listener, which is what I'll be talking about in this video today. Of course, there's more information on the different tools that we offer for this in our documentation. You can always visit the documentation site to learn more about this. Uh, you can see I have it pulled up on my screen right here. Uh, we have three different options. We have the PC integration applet, the PC command listener, and the PC command launcher. Uh, today we'll just be focusing on the listener. Now let's talk about downloading, installing, and configuring the listener. Before we start talking about configuring the PC command listener, I do want to note that it's important that you have the listener installed on each end user's PC. That way it'll work properly for every user. So that's just something to keep in mind before downloading and installing the listener. You can download the PC command listener from the Profound Logic website. I have it already pulled up here. It is www.profoundlogic.com slash download. Uh, what you'll want to do is you'll just choose the PC command listener from the drop down here. Uh, it's important that you choose the listener from the list and not the launcher. Uh, the launcher is a slightly different tool. And since we are talking about the listener in this video, this is what we'll want to choose from the list here. So all you'll do is you'll press download and this will download the listener for you. It does take just a minute to download, so I'm not actually going to download it. I've already got it downloaded on my end, uh, but this is what you'll do. The installer for the PC command listener is just a typical Windows program installer, so it should be pretty straightforward for you. Once you have the listener installed, you will notice an icon of the Profound Logic logo in your system tray. Uh, the icon here has a context menu that you can use to stop and start the listener and configure the port number that you want to use for the listener. Here's an image right here of what it looks like. Uh, the listener will automatically run uh, when your PC starts, so you don't need to turn it on every time you need to use it. But you will need to configure the port for your listener. And I will bring that up right here. Uh, notice this, I mean, this is pretty simple. Uh, you just type in your port right here. You can also choose to show notifications from the listener. It's important to note that the port number that you use here doesn't have anything to do with the port number that you are using for your Profound UI instance. Uh, this does not need to be the same port. Uh, it can be if you'd like, but it doesn't need to be. So I'm using port 8080 just because this is the port that I chose to use. This defaults to 80. You can leave it as the default if you'd like, um, but that is totally up to you. Again, you can use whatever number for this that you'd like to. Once you have the port number configured and your listener is running, you will need to configure your Profound UI instance to use the listener as well. By default, Profound UI will try to use the PC integration applet to run the PC integration API. This applet does not work in all browsers. Currently, it only works in Internet Explorer. Uh, that's because it requires Java in order to work properly. We don't typically suggest using the applet. We typically do suggest using the listener or the launcher. We will need to tell our instance to use the PC command listener instead of the applet. So you can do this by using the use PC listener configuration option. You'll want to set this to true in your instance to tell your instance to use the listener and not the applet. You will also need to tell your instance which port number you're using for the listener. As mentioned before, the default port number that the listener will use is 80. So if you're using 80, you don't need to set this, but in our case we're using 8080, and so we will need to set this in our instance in order for it to work properly. There's also another configuration option that you will need to use if you want your listener to work on SSL pages. It is the PC listener mode option. 
PC listener mode will allow you to use a listener with SSL pages. Uh, you'll want to use mode 2 for this if you're using SSL. For the video today and our examples, we're not using SSL, so we don't need this option, but I wanted you to be aware of this configuration option in case you are using SSL. You'll want to place these configuration options in a JavaScript file in the user data custom directory of your Profound UI instance. Uh, you can name the file whatever you'd like. As long as it's in the correct directory in your IFS, it should work properly for you. So this is just an example of what your configuration options might look like. Again, we're telling the instance to use the PC command listener here, and I'm also giving it the port that my PC command listener is using right here, 8080. Uh, you can see that this file is in the user data slash custom directory here. So this should be all you need in order for this to work for your rich display files. So the configuration options are what you'll want to use when you're running your programs outside of Genie. If you are using Genie, you can set the command listener options for your Genie skin in the Genie administrator. So you can see here that under the configuration settings for the hybrid skin, we have a PC command mode option. What we'll want to do here is pick command listener since that's what we're using. Um, we also have an option to set the command listener port. Again, the default is port 80. Since we are not using 80, we are using 8080. We will go ahead and give this option our correct port number and you'll just save the configuration. That's all you need to do for this to work in Genie. You don't need to set those other configuration options because you can do everything right here under general settings. So once you've installed and configured your PC command listener and you configured your Profound UI instance to use the listener, you can start using the integration API in your programs. The API that you will actually use to run the command or program is PUI.RunPCCommand. And we have this listed in our documentation here. You can also use run PC command. It does the same thing, uh, but today we are going to use PUI.run PC command for this. So I've got a few different examples that I'm going to show you today. Let's pull them up in the visual designer. This is the first one that we're going to look at. Here we have three very simple ways of using the PC command listener. So we're going to use the PUI.run PC command to open up notepad to run a calculator and to open a PDF using Adobe. So let's take a look at the on click events of these buttons here. So on the first one we're just going to pull up notepad. So what we do here is we just have our PUI.RunPC command API and we just give it the program that we're wanting to run when we click this button. So notepad.exe is the correct program to run notepad. It's very similar for our calculator button here. We are using the onclick event to run the calc.exe program. So this will bring up the calculator from the PC. And lastly, on this screen, we want to pull up a PDF in the Adobe Acrobat Reader. So this one is a little more complicated. Um, we're using run PC command here to start the Adobe Acrobat Reader program. And then we're just giving it the directory of the PDF that we want to open. So in this case, it's in our IFS under the temp folder and it's named mypdf.pdf. So now let's take a look at this program. So here I'll show you where this pulls up notepad. You can tell it you pulled it up here. Show you an example of the calculator running. You can see here that this is just the calculator from the PC. And lastly, we're going to pull up the PDF that we want to view. This does take just a second here, but you can see now that we have our PDF here in the Adobe Acrobat Reader.
So we have one other program to look at as well. It's a little bit more complicated. Here we are going to use this program to pull up the Windows File Explorer. What we're doing is we're allowing the user to choose the folder that they want to view with the Explorer and then the Open Folder button will open that folder with that path. So let's just take a look at the on-click event for this. So this is using pui.runpc command to open up explore.exe. That's the program for the file explorer. We're giving it the first part of the path to our IFS folder that we're wanting to pull up. And then we are using the git API to get the folder from the output field here. So let's run this program as well. So you can see here we have choose a folder. We can choose the PDF folder and choose open folder. And you can see here that it has opened the PDF folder in my IFS. So we can use this to view some PDFs in this folder. We can also open a folder named invoice. You can see here that it's opened this folder as well. This pretty much wraps up our discussion about the PC command listener. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to check out the other videos from our team here at Profound Logic. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.